at Kings Island Passholder Preview Day, and let me tell you, it is absolutely slammed. The park is at 100% capacity, and you can definitely tell the place is very full. Every ride has a super long wait, however the park is still handling it very well, and in this video I'll be talking about everything new at Kings Island for the 2021 season. On May 8th, Kings Island officially opened their gates for the 2021 season, at least for pass holders, and despite their opening being a month later than it usually is, it was a whole two months earlier than their 2020 opening which occurred in July. And even though the park didn't get any major new additions like they got in 2020, Kings Island did still get a few things new for this year, and they changed a few things from last year, and some of them you may not have known about. The first thing, and the one that most of you guys probably know, is that the park no longer requires masks when outdoors. In 2020, Kings Island required masks as long as you were on their property. Now, you only have to wear them indoors. This is definitely a major improvement as it does get hot down in southern Ohio, and overall an amusement park is much more fun and better experienced without a mask on. The next new thing to Kings Island is a brand new store that has been added to International Street. This new store is exclusive to the highly popular Squishmallows. These plush toys were introduced last year, and they were highly popular, and now they introduced more and more of them with their all new dedicated store. These have all different sizes and prices, and they do look pretty cool depending on which one you buy. This next thing I'm about to talk about is almost as good as a new roller coaster. Kings Island hired Gravity Group to come in and fully retrack the first half of the racer. This classic wooden coaster opened in 1972 and was starting to get super rough. Now, the first half of this coaster is butter smooth and features some fantastic airtime. Now, all they have to do is finish retracking the last portion of the ride and then it will be as good as new. Nonetheless, this made the racer a much better ride, it gave it great airtime, and it's a whole lot smoother than it has ever been, at least since when I've rode it. Also, this isn't the only change they made to that coaster, they redid the front entrance and gave it some new signage and repainted the trains to give it the feel as it did when it first opened back in 1972. And the last new thing at Kings Island in 2021 is what happens at the park every single year. They get some sort of small improvements here and there. The ones I found this year were that around the park, landscaping has improved. Some parts of Rivertown and Coney Mall and the front of the park have gotten some landscaping improvements, such as more flowers and stuff like that. Also, Rivertown Pizza got a major repaint and it looks a whole lot fresher and way nicer now. Anyways, that's just about it for Kings Island's new for 2021 stuff. Let me know if you've been to KI this year or are planning to do so later. Tell me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like rating and subscribe for more roller coaster and theme park content just like this on Hangtime Thrills. I'll catch you guys next time.